So your character is a top Russian spy. Yeah. Do you think you have what it takes to be a secret agent in real life? Absolutely. I would knock it out of the park. No, I don't know. I, I think it's a very... Uh, like my impression of it, because an impression and, 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 and the actual reality of it is probably quite different. I think you have to have a you know very specific... Uh, structure to to you know to get into that type of universe. What kind of research did you do for the role? Well, I I, uh, I read the book yeah. first of all because I, I wanted to be in touch with the source material, and then uh, and then of course you impregnate yourself with elements that have to do with that universe, and um, so there, there's a lot to you know to be curious about, and it's a fascinating world because the, the world of espionage it's it's so mysterious it's 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 a it's a hidden world. It's um, so, th and that mystery is very attractive. Did you find the Russian accent difficult to get to grips with? Actually, it w no. Actually, it was it was not that because we also chose to go for a slight Russian accent and to not, you know, overemphasize the, um, the the specifics of, of of that dialect. To go for a slight Russian as uh, accent because not every Russian speaks like I'm Russian. I'm, you know, there's also Russians that speak quite. <laughs> You know, they, speak, they, they speak English quite well, so, so we, we chose to go for that. I read that you also turned down the role of Batman in Dawn of Justice. Why? Uh, well, I, I felt I was, I was not... I felt back then I was too young. We talked about it four years ago. I was too young, and so that's it. I, I, just, I, I, wasn't, I didn't feel like I was the right man at the right place for that. So. Do you regret it now? Or? No, no, no. I don't, I don't regret things. Okay, cool. I look forward to things. I don't regret things. <laughs> You've been called the Belgian Brando in the press. Mm. Is Marlon someone you take influence from? No, I don't know if I'm influenced by him, but he's he's, he's obviously an actor that that you know is is is, is a, a big inspiration or somebody that you know that really changed our our notion of acting and our perception of acting and and but also on on. on um, on a social level, as 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 a personality, he's, he was very engaged and, and very committed um, to to what was going on in the world as well. So, um, so yeah, he's, he's he's definitely a source of inspiration. Um, but am I influenced by him? I, I don't know. I, I'm influenced by everything, really. Everything affects me. Everything affects everything, and everything um, incites to change to some extent. Marianne Cotillard has gone on record as saying the only time she's ever enjoyed filming a sex scene was in Rust and Bone with you. Really? How does that make you feel? <laughs> man, come on. If she says that, <laughs> man, that puts a smile on my face. I, I take that as a compliment. You spent a year in f film school, but then yeah. dropped, uh, then were kicked out for poor yeah. attendance. Yeah. Do you find it hard to be on set on time in the morning? <laughs> no, 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 I'm always... Uh... Yeah, I'm always on time. So you've kicked that habit then? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Hey, I was I was twenty something back then. Now I'm now I'm in a different stage of my life. Yeah. I'm supposed to be professional. I have to I have to show up on time. I have to press people. I, I was here on time, wasn't I, guys? Cool. You see, <laughs> on the internet, lots of your fans mm -hmm. are saying that you bear an uncanny resemblance in some films to Mads Mikkelsen. Okay. Have you seen that before? Uh, well, I've heard about it, but but. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe sometimes it depends on what stage, what physical stage I'm in. Or, uh, yeah, that might that might be. Have you have you met him? Yeah, I met him. Yeah, yeah. He's a rascal, a lovable person. I, I yeah, I like his energy a lot. And he's a great actor, so. <laughs>